Hey there, John with Dallas Drainage Pros. Today we are doing a footer drain addressing a unique issue. So a lot of times the question is, where do you place a French drain? And the answer is it depends on what your goal is. So in this case, the home was dealing with moisture coming up underneath the foundation and uh, coming through the wood floors. So what we have to do here is install a footer French drain that's right up next to the foundation and just a little bit below the bottom of the foundation. That way, moisture underneath the foundation has a place that's lower to fall. Remember, water always goes to the lowest place. So if we install a gravel bed uh, just at and below the bottom of the foundation, excess moisture will go there first and then we discharge it to the alley. So I'm just gonna show you here that's the bottom of the foundation where you can see some gray, a lot of the brown, light brown. And then when you get to the mud clay, we've reached underneath that. So we're just about three or four inches below. That's perfect. We'll uh, work with that, work our grade falling away from there, put in our filter fabric, gravel and perforated pipe and keep that moisture from going up underneath the house. Just getting our geotextile non-woven fabric in place. Working it in this corner is a little challenging, but it takes a little ingenuity, a little patience. Then comes the gravel. trying to keep water from seeping up under your foundation, a footer drain will do just that. Just getting our perforated pipe in place, holes facing down. We've got the holes below the grade of the foundation so that water will seep into that, seep into the pipe first, and then run downhill. If we didn't have fall, we'd have to use a pump. But this is the general concept, and in this case, we had plenty of fall, so it worked, worked out. So you'll notice we've put a 12-inch catch basin right here, a surface drain to catch the majority of the water. Um, the French drain is going to work well, but the more we help it, the better it works. So that surface drain then ties in, you'll notice, after the French drain. We don't want to add any more water to that gravel trench drain than we have to. So this is just a little boost. Actually, it's a big boost and a really important part of dealing with uh, foundation water. You want to deal with most of it directly, and then you install a French drain to address any extra subsurface water. Well, that was a lot of work, and we still got a lot of work ahead of us. We got our French drain, our footer drain, catch basin to catch the majority of the surface water. Ties in separately after the French drain. Discharges to the alley. That's it.